Well, congratulations on the show, first of all, and I'll just dive right in. Um, you know, Sam, you get some pretty epic action sequences throughout the first five episodes that I saw. Uh, did you like have a favorite to film? Uh, certainly the the first one. Um, well, actually, no, the second one in episode one, where um, you know someone's picking on me in regards to my father, and I think that was probably the most dynamic fight. We really um, worked closely with the stunt coordinator, Richard Ryan, who notoriously has done uh, Troy and Sherlock Holmes before. And it was really cool to work with him and the stunt team. And um, yeah, like it was a real trial by fire. And so to see, yeah, the inception of that and, and to finally be able to express it was a real gift. Yeah. And then, you know, you both are playing such prominent historical figures you know and so leo for you i was wondering do you like how do you approach doing this do you do a lot of research or do you let the script guide you or do you kind of lightly browse the wikipedia page (laughs) Uh, there's a balance of the two um i think it's one of the joys of doing a historical piece is that you can you can do some homework and and do do a few informal history lessons and really learn about a world that you otherwise wouldn't know about so i really enjoyed finding out the history of these these kings of Canute's invasion of England and how brutal and bloodthirsty that whole world was. But there comes a point as well where you have to leave that homework to one side and go to the scripts and see what, see what they offer. Yeah. And Deb's done an amazing um, job of creating really three-dimensional characters in a very authentic world. So actually you can, you can leave that homework done and come onto set and, it's, and Harold, Harold flows freely. Yeah. And, you know, speaking of brutal and bloodthirsty, we get that awesome battle sequence in episode four on the bridge. And, you know, you guys are kind of, both of you are like working in both angles here. So I guess I just wanted to talk to you, like, what was that on set for you guys? Like, like how much of an undertaking was that? How much training did you guys have to do? Yeah. Little moments become really crucial. Tiny details of tying a rope or an arrow landing in a shield. It all comes together for the whole set piece to work. So it was a real culmination of a lot of people's efforts. And, and that's always quite cool to know how many work hours go into something. And I think the end product is, is pretty epic. Yeah, and it goes to show how important both, you know, ink on a page to blood on an axe to a, a rope to the macro shots, you know, like it, it's, uh, it takes a village and it was, it was a beautiful episode as an example for it takes a village to create such an epic uh, sequence yeah i mean it it turned out really well i saw both versions i saw the one with the blue screen and then i got to see the one that was all done and it it was cool as hell but uh i just want to thank you guys for your time today i really appreciate it and congratulations again on the show 